Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Graham's Teaching. Now, on this lesson, we're going to be looking at ordering months of the year. Now, in last episode, we looked at that there were 12 months of the year. And those months were January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Now, in this teaching episode, we are going to be looking at ordering those months in order. Now, order is something that starts at the top and ends at the bottom. And they have got to be in a list, which is in order. So you might like to order your classmates in size. Or we might like to order our classmates in the age they are. Now that is an order from biggest to smallest or oldest to youngest. Now in this order, we're looking at ordering the months from the first month of the year to the last month of the year. So who can tell me what is the first month of the year? Point to the first month of the year for me please. That's right, January is our first month of the year. Who can point to our last month of the year? So think about it, it's the last month of the year, so it's got to be towards the end of the list, or if not, right at the end of the list. So point to me, please, the last month of the year. December, excellent. So we can see there, though, that if we want to order these months, They have got to go in the order that's on the page there for me. So we need to start at January and we need to end at December. But there are so many months there in the middle there that we haven't ordered yet. So so I have cut up the months of the year and we are going to order those together now for me. We have all of the months of the year and we know that there are 12 months of the year. Now we want to order these months from the first month which we know is January to the last month which we know is December. So if we know the first month is January let's put January at the start of our list. So here's January and we'll make our list over here. So January is the first month. What month then is the last month of the year? That's correct. It is December. So we'll get December and we'll put December down the bottom here. So we have got January and then we have December. But we know that that's only two months. And there are in fact 12 months in one year. So we need to fill in and we need to order these months in the correct order. So what month do you think out of our list goes after January? That's correct, February. So let's put February next to our January. So we now have January, February, big gap, and then December at the end. So what list do you think goes next? What month from our list goes next? January, February, March. Well done. So we'll put March in our list. So we have now January, February, March, and then a big gap. Then we have December. January, February, March. Which one goes next? Point to it for me, please. April. Well done. Let's get April and put it to our list. So now we have January, February, March, April, and then right at the end there, December. So we have five of the months in order, we still need seven more. So January, February, March, April, what month goes next? May, excellent. So let's put our May in. January, February, March, April, May. Which one do you think goes next? June, well done. And we know after June is another J month which ends in Y, and that is July. So now we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 
a little bit of a gap now, and then we have December. What month goes after July? Might be someone's birthday? That's correct. It is August. So we have now January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Then we have September. We know that these months are towards the end of the year because they have the B-E-R at the end. So therefore they are towards the end of the year. So we have September, October, and then we have a little bit of a gap, then we have December. So let's see which one is missing then. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, a bit of a gap, and then it's November. Which one do you think is missing? That's correct. Let's have a look over in our missing number. November. And we can see then that these are in the correct order because they have the ER and they're towards the end of the year. So let's go through it one more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now we have just ordered the 12 months of the year in orders from beginning to end. Well done. Now it's your turn to see if you can have a go at ordering the months from the beginning month of the year to the end month of the year. So if you now follow on to the practice and you go to quick sheets, you will find a quick sheet where you are going to order the months of the year from beginning to end. Now remember that there are 12 months in a year and our beginning month is January and our end month is December. A little clue for you, you should know that the end of the month is December because that is when Santa comes and that happens at the end of the year.